Good morning. <laughs> hey, you're not the only one having a bad hair day. Look at this thing. Yeah, <laughs> like my fluff is going cute. all fluffy. <laughs> Michael said I look like a bird. I look like a bird. Scruffy old fuck. Hey, you shaved already today, though, so you yeah. don't look too scruffy. No. <laughs> you just it's got really hair sticking up over here. It's so cute, though. I like it when your hair's like all messy in the morning. So I think it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> So we're sitting here at the computer and I brought up my email for my Me Show Mimi channel and I got a new subscriber, so shout out to you if, um, shout out to you Garrett if, uh, you're, you watch our vlogs, but, um, you do show, Michael, what are you doing? He just shut the door on me. The door is all shut. The door wasn't shut before. So anywho, update on the poopy. He is doing fine. I put some flea medicine on him today. But he's still in his cone of shame. But it's okay. He should get off of that. Um, he just has to wear it for about a week until we take him back to the... Um, until we take him back to the vets for his checkup on how he is doing. Hey everyone, so I am at work right now. And it is a cupcake night. <laughs> We, my coworker, um, Amber, I mean, on Mondays, always do cupcake night. So, small cakes is the cupcake place that we usually go to. So, that's the cupcake I got this time. Okay, guys, so recap of my night. <laughs> so, I get stressed out about work. And, like, the littlest things when I'm already stressed out stresses me out more. And I'm just, honestly, I'm being real with you guys. This is completely me, stressed out, pissed off, emotional, can't control my emotions or nothing. But, honestly, the vlogging is for us to be really upfront and honest with you. So, you guys see me at my worst times of the days. You see Michael at his worst. You see... Toby at his worst. Obviously, he's still wearing the cone of shame. So, anywho, what has been going on? Because I threw myself into a stressed out frenzy. Toby, you can't take the cone off your head. I'm sorry. So, yeah. That, that was the first thing. Then I walk out. Oh, I'm stressed out because I'm at the wedding, by the way. Michael and me don't know exactly how much we have for our wedding to spend until January. Which initially only gives me about six months to plan our wedding, right? So, we, Michael, truth be told, Michael honestly hasn't paid his taxes within six years because of the fact that he has to feed his children. So, because he had to feed his children as they were growing up and teenagers when he moved out here, I would say about eight years ago, he's been paying them since him and me got together. But, Toby, no. So, he, yeah, he's pretty much hasn't been paying them at all. So, I don't know exactly how much money we're actually going to have. And Michael has a 401k, which is like the stock market. But the taxes are... the. The IRS is going to deduct, to deduct his debt for not paying taxes out of his 401k. So, back to reality. I'm stressed out because of the fact that I don't know how much money we're going to have for a wedding. And now I'm about to cry again. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. So, I don't know how much it we're actually going to have for the wedding. And I'm a little, like, pissed off because I just ran into a thing and hurt myself. So, that's why I'm a little pissed off. But other than that, I'm just, like, really stressed. And when I get super stressed out, I just break down and cry. And that is me. I break down and cry. So, I'm stressed about the wedding because I don't know how much money. And then when I walk out of work to go to my car, it gets really cold. So, your flyer, your flyer, your tire has... Toby, you okay? He's okay. Um, your tire has a tendency to go flat because of the air pressure. So I walk out and I think all of my tires are flat. So I turn off my headlights to check them and I forget to turn them back on. And on my way home, I get pulled over. And as I get pulled over, this poor cop, poor cop, sits there and 
Like, I just burst out crying. I'm, like, having a major meltdown. I just burst out crying. And the cop was like, ma'am, you know I pulled you over today? I was like, yes, my headlight is out. And he was like, well, we're both in working. I'm like, "Mm mm-hmm. And I just, like, I try and pull it together as I'm getting pulled over because I burst out crying when I see the lights go off. And I'm like, crap, I got pulled over for my headlights because I realized they were on. And I'm just like, oh, my God. So I... Get pulled over, and as the cop comes out, he's like, do you know where you go pulled over, blah, 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 and I say yes, and he's like, are they working? And after that, I just couldn't contain anymore. I burst out crying again. And the cop was like, are you okay, ma'am? I was like, yes, I am. I'm just stressed. And he was like, it's going to be okay. I just, you know, your your headlights were off. Everything's going to be fine. And honestly, I think if I didn't burst out crying in front of him, I would have gotten a ticket, which is the saddest thing. And then I'm on the phone with Michael. He calms me down a little bit and says everything's going to be okay. Michael's like my best friend. I love him to death. So he calmed me down. Then I go into the kitchen to get a Smirnoff because Michael's like, hey, get a Smirnoff because Smirnoffs usually make me calmer and it calms me down. Like, they're not big on alcohol, but it has a little bit of alcohol, just enough to make me sleepy if I drink by myself. So Michael's like, you know, get a Smirnoff, it's not going to kill you. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll get a Smirnoff. And I turn around and I run my appendix into the side of the counter. And now I have a bruise. So that's my night, you guys. Yep. So I vented to you guys. And uh, that's a way that I'm going to vent. Because, you know, the vlogs for me and Michael are kind of like a journal. You get a vent. Even if you guys didn't want to listen to this, you could have skipped it. And I'm sorry for you having to listen to my rubbish. (laughs) Better lack of words than. (sighs) Alright, I'm good. I'm good now. I'm going to eat and drink my Smirnoff. I'm great. I'm good. No, I'm not. (laughs) Stay with it. What's up? Hey guys. So th- this one here had a rough day yesterday, man. Yeah, I told them. Rough day. Had a very Today's rough a new day. day. And then Michael came home. Guess what? Michael came home and my dome light inside my car was on. Yeah. I'm like, really? I just, I couldn't win. I couldn't win at all. <laughs> it's okay though. I actually feel a lot better. I just have a migraine now, so. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I felt bad for him yesterday. Yeah. I called him. He's like, what's wrong? I'm like, I, I said, honey, I did not hear you. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't remember standing between the sobs. I was like, I felt so bad because I was like, are you okay? Are you hurt? Well, yeah. What's going on? And she's like, yeah, I'm having an emotional breakdown. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've had a few of those. My, I've had quite a few of those in the day. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It happens to the best of us. Yeah. That's okay. As long as you have somebody that you can count on to be your rock and go, hey, you know. You're it's gonna be rock. Okay. Uh, yeah, but and, it's all good. Yeah. Today's so, day. I started about the vlog being a little uh, depressing. <laughs> Hey, they can't all be all shits and giggles. Yeah, I know, but like I told you guys last night, you know, this is us being real, and we want to be real with you just as much as possible, because for us, if we're real with you and we're honest, you know, it just shows that we are still human. Like, our lives are not always, you know, fairy tales and sparkling dust, you know? Wait, it's not that to begin with. Yeah, so, you know, like, I know... (laughs) You know, we're not starving, we're not living on the streets or any of that, but... We're we, definitely blessed. We do have our moments, so... Yeah, um, moments of weakness and... Yeah, but you guys just saw a slight moment of weakness of me, and... You know, I just I wanted to be really upfront with you guys, and, you know, this way it allows us to be, you know... Have you be part of our family, so... Yep. You take the good, you take the bad, you... Never mind. Even though it was a little embarrassing for me. Oh, it's all right. I mean, I've sat in front of this camera and and jerked a tear or two in the past since we've been blogging. Yeah. Yeah. Life gets stressful. Life's not meant to be easy. 
But that's what bi- binds us together is those moments of tension and stress and and conflict. Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah. guys. So, so we're, we're going to leave it off. And, and Peace out, you guys. <laughs> so, you know, we love you guys, and we'll yeah. catch you in the flip. So, deuces. So we love you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Later. Later. Why did you stick your tongue out? I don't know. I'm trying You're to be so Miley weird. Cyrus. Oh, okay. Okay, we can be Miley Cyrus without that. <laughs> Yummy, 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 Taco Bell for lunch, Taco Bell for lunch, yummy, 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 yum, 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 yum. <laughs> So when Michael wanted to go get his oil change from the car, he left us, he just get into his car and like left us on there. <laughs> so I like how you're just like down there going, <laughs> I'm just trying to wrestle the fucking <laughs>